Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. I wanted to do a little review today. I've got an interesting product that I'm excited about getting. I really haven't touched on this too much on my channel but I'm very much into classic gaming systems. I've got a video on the Atari 400 but I actually have a 2600. I've got every NES console except for the Wii U. I've got Xbox, PlayStation 1 and 2 and the Dreamcast and having all of those different consoles hooked up to your TV can be a bit challenging so I found a, a neat product and just got a shipment today and it has a couple other things in it but I mainly wanted to review this one product to share with others because well I had looked for reviews myself and couldn't find any so here we go let's open this up and see what we have in there alright what do we got I know what's in here. I ordered it, didn't I? Well, I must say one of the items is smaller than I expected. Let's see. Aha! Alright. Here's one of the products that I got. It is a Snap Tight TIE Fighter. This is going to be an upcoming video here. This little product here is for a label maker that I have. But this, right here, is the main thing I wanted to review. 8 port video audio switch. You plug 8 things in, 1 thing out, and you can plug up several different devices, games, VCRs, DVDs, all kinds of stuff, as long as it's using the red, white, and yellow plug. And I have quite a few systems. I'm pretty much going to fill this up. I may have one space left after I'm done today. Video, which is the yellow, as usual, and left, right, audio, white, and red. And you have them in pairs. A pair of yellow, white, and red. You can see number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, and eight in <clears throat> out. So it's really not a lot to it. I, I got it because I've been wanting to get one of these ports, but everything I find so far is a maximum of four, which means I would have to at least get two different ones. This combines eight into one, and you have switch. It's one of those you push it in and it you push another in, the first one pops out, like an old car stereo. So this is neat. This is neat. I will say, and I already knew this before I got it, when you see this online, I got this from Amazon. I'm pretty sure you can get it from other places, but every every picture I've seen shows two. It shows the back, and then stacked on top, it shows the front. So it makes it look like it's thicker than it is. It's not. I'm fine with that takes up less space and you know they do that to show front and back but it's not necessarily clear that hey this is the front and the back of the two products not what one looks like so I'm gonna go hook this up and play some games I've got all my cables ready here I just recently redid my entertainment center if you will it's not the final product but I've got all my systems, almost all, set up in here to where I can play them. I just need to wire them in. So, I set them all up. I run the cables up here. I label them. This is why I needed more labels for my label gun. Because I used them up labeling these. Let's start hooking these up. And to hook it up to the TV, we go to the out. And there we have it. Crap ton of cables. <clears throat> and I essentially just have room for one more, which honestly, that's the PlayStation 2 right there. I don't have it downstairs, it's in my bedroom, but at some point it'll come back down here. But let's play with it. 
and see how well it works. I started with the first Switch and the NES. I just happened to have Super Mario 2 in the console. The video looks good and sounds good. From there, I just cycle through my different systems. Switching from one channel to the next is as easy as pushing a button. The button has a nice solid feel. It switches instantly and seamlessly. Each channel came through clean with an image and sound as good as you could expect from an older system with VGA cables. It's very nice to be able to easily switch between my different console systems without having to go through the hassle of unplugging and switching out my cables. I think I'll be playing a lot more of my older systems now. Simple device does exactly what it says it does. I'm able to play eight different systems or devices through one switch. Very neat, compact, slim. It's nicely on top of the Nintendo here. Although it can be a little back heavy with all the cables pulling on it. Why don't you just press your button and play the device? Switch over seems really clean. Each channel seems really clean. There's no interference. There's no problems. I had a rather cheap three port one of these and the channels were fuzzy. Um, it didn't switch cleanly and it eventually just completely gave up working at all. So this is exactly what I expected. You can easily find this on Amazon. It is a MT-VIKI 8 port AV RCA splitter. I'll Put a link to it down below if you have any questions or comments uh, please leave them down below it's really not much to say about this it's nice clean does what it's supposed to do um, it's well worth the money it takes up so much less space than buying two four port switches and two four port switches would take up both video ends on the back of my tv this only takes up one and it leaves me plenty of room to expand with new systems in the future. Thank you for watching, and keep on keeping on. And now to play with my other little toy. Hold on. 